So you don't have time to consume an entire podcast. That's okay. Enjoy the highlights on TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon. You spoke about comparison leading to sadness. So I think of the people who have that comparison mindset, and with, while they're comparing themselves to others, what will actually be giving these people happiness? It can't be that material gain or you know the fame gain or any any kind of gain because no matter how much gain they get, they will compare themselves to someone else. Yeah. But I feel. the moments that make these kind of people happy are when their thought narratives are validated yeah. through polarized media hmm. which and and this is a strong reason why so many people our age don't uh, follow the news as closely as they should yeah. because they see an entire parents generation kind of taken over by news and i think following the news is important yeah. but from a bunch of sources actually dr cool. radhakrishnan pillai spoke about this that yeah. you need to read the left wing uh, yeah. piece on it you need of to read course. the right wing you need to read the apolitical piece on it i have long maintained that you know politics is tomorrow's history mm uh and what we read as history today was yesterday's politics mm um but the world of history what is it other than a fable that has been agreed upon yeah uh and the, history is always written by the victors exactly uh today you um, i think it was a, a william dalrymple uh who said that uh who in in one of his books he said that we've not taught colonial history and the horrors of colonialism to the vast majority of english students so in other words their version of history is very different to ours mm. you take a single event like let's say the great mutiny what we call the 1857 revolt we teach uh, teach it in india as the great rebellion of 1857 where the sepoys rose up in rebellion where they do teach it in europe it is known as the sepoy mutiny of 1857 it's the same event but a very very different lens has been applied on that same event so it was uh, george santena uh, who said that history is a pack of lies about events that never happened written by people who were never there mm. it is colored by the observer people who say that history is unbiased don't know what they are talking about there's no way to prevent your bias from creeping in to a narrative you know the one thing that is truly amazing about dharmic thought is its essential pluralism you can have 33 million deities which are part of the same narrative uh you may look at a stone and you may say that this is a shivling and i may look at that shivling and i may call it a stone mm. but we are both equally welcome you could be astic i could be nastic we are we are part of the same plural system someone may worship shiva someone may worship shakti i wrote chanakya's chant which is one of your favorite books but chanakya if you look at his life and if you look at his writings uh you could call him the greatest statesman you could call him one of the best strategists you could call him a great political economist of his time but you could also call him a male chauvinist pig because his views on women were extremely derogative uh, de- uh, derogatory because of the times that he lived in uh you could also consider him to be an extremely evil person in terms of the kootniti that he uh, prophesizes what is that so kootniti basically comes down to samdan uh, samdan dand bhed uh and that at the end of the day uh the ends are more important than the means like achieve a win no matter what it takes exactly and that is the way that we need to start looking at narratives yeah. especially political narratives i think that's especially political that's narratives. the cause of so much hate within people's hearts uh and and i'm not just talking about you know when i say hate within people's hearts lots of people pictureize i mean visualize people from the interiors of the country right yeah, yeah those people have hate in their hearts no no, no, no you'll no. be sitting in this city Absolutely. and you will also have hate in your heart if you're that into the political narratives that we are fed through mainstream media in every atheist there is some part of him that is itching to believe mm. and in every believer there is some part of him or her that is itching to doubt we need to allow those to get free reign mm. the idea being that even though i may be 
a devout Hindu, there is nothing which says that I should not be able to doubt my beliefs. And the same should apply in every religion. This is very important in today's world. Uh, and genuinely, if we are looking at, let's say, the next 50 odd years, I think the only way that this world will be able to uh, see peace and stability is in case all of us are willing to get up and question and stand up and, and doubt our own faith. Mm. Faiths. Faiths. Mm. 